According to a report by Oxfam, Kenya has suffered a 70% drop in crop production due to last year's drought, with 3.1 million people in acute hunger and in need of dire aid. The report further states that nearly half of all households in Kenya have resorted to borrow food or buy it on credit due to increased food prices. The government has been warned that the situation may worsen in coming months if the much-awaited long rains fail. Unfortunately, the first uh, um, information and result and analysis about the rainy season are not so positive. That's why, collectively, as international community, we need to definitely prepare for the worst case. Scenario. The food prices that have been high due to COVID-19 pandemic are expected to further increase as tensions in Russia and Ukraine escalate. A lot of countries in the region are relying on import of wheat from uh, Russia or, or Ukraine. But there is also another driver that can have an impact on the situation and, and is the, the, the price of oil. If the war persists, Oxfam is concerned that the government national debt might also increase as the government might be forced to borrow to stabilize food prices in the country. A rise in food prices and rise in oil fuel, which means that um, there is more difficulty. So the, the money that there is to respond to the, to the crisis, so the hunger crisis, is, is stretched. The organization's father says food supply chain in the region might be disrupted as East African nations import up to 90% of their wheat from Ukraine and Russia. This is further expected to increase food prices that hit an all-time high last week. In 2010-2011, similar spikes in food prices pushed 44 million people worldwide into extreme poverty, and indications are that the food price inflation happening now will be even worse.